unbelievable stuff that was coming off the hills. I mean, this whole area, probably three square miles where the power plant is, the ponds is, and the ash dome. It was like a monstrous plume of this gray stuff just blowing everywhere. We realize that that pollution is all around us now. To say you're 50 years old, it is a miracle around here because people usually don't see that age. It seems to be unfortunately the norm that a lot of people die too soon and too young. I believe there's something in the air that causes cancer. I've got a brother that's passed on, ready to pass on through cancer. My sister had got it. My dad died from it. I have a hard time with thyroids. I've constantly got many strokes, but I survived. My kids, since they were little, they've been diagnosed with asthma. Uh, my oldest daughter, Aaliyah, who is now 16, I took her to the doctor and that's what they told me is that she had asthma and she needed to use a nebulizer. My second daughter, Saida, she had to be rushed in because her breathing was so low that, you know, she needed to be taken in the fight for life. Where do people's diseases come from? You know, exposure to these elements. Why can't he, you know, breathe better? It just makes me wonder, will I be here? My lungs, you know, if they don't hold up. I want to be here for my son. What we're trying to do is find a solution. We're building a solar plant here in a reservation. It's going to be about over 2,000 acres of land that we have aside. We're taking the effort to be more responsible with our land, be more responsible with nature, to go ahead and provide something that's clean and safe. And to show our neighbors that there's other options of producing energy other than polluting the earth. The coal business, it's archaic, it's out of date. It doesn't fit with the future. 